In this session we'll learn uh, how to calculate the bending moment in beams like so and how to calculate the axial load on columns and how to calculate the the reaction and the supports and to do so we'll have to make some assumptions and these assumptions are built as based on the shape of deformation of the frame and if you look at the beam A2 B2 the shape of deflection for this will be like so it will have a concave upward in the middle and this will be concave downward here and concave downward here and to change from concave upward to downward load it has to go through 0, point zero here and point zero here. And same thing goes for for this side. We have again this is concave upward and this is downward just like that. And then this is a point of inflection or change. And the point of inflection or change is where the bending moment is equal to zero. That will help us to make the following assumption. We'll accept this part to be simply supported beam and this will be the cantilever beam and the this will have uniform load like that and this will have uniform like this and of course this side also the same is cantilever and it will have a uniform load like so of course this first simply supported will produce a reaction like that a reaction like that and this reaction is let's call it B and this is B P this will be carried on to this part and to this part now the distances at which the inflection point happens as from experiment is known to be 10% of the the span so meaning this distance is 10%. If this span is 30, 30 feet, then this will be 3 feet. And same thing goes for that this will be 3 feet. Of course, the remainder is 20, 24 feet. Same thing goes here. This will be, this part will be, this part will be, 2.8 feet same thing goes for this part 2.8 feet and the remainder is here so let's go to more details about the f equations for these ones so to do the equations for these ones as we'll go to we'll go to here so this is the the enlarged part of the this is the concept actually so here the we need to calculate the bending moment in the middle which is this one and for this one the equation is that this you can find these equations in the charts is equal is equal to w l squared divided by 8 where this is w and of course this is the span but this this span is reduced to <coughs> to 80 percent of the entire span and for shear the shear here is equal to wl divided by 2 these are the equation for the simply supported part now for the sh for the cantilever part which is the cantilever part this is composed of the point load and uniform load so this is a compound loading case let me just isolate this one so this part is so meaning this cantilever is equal to a cantilever with uniform load plus a cantilever with point load And the equation for this, the bending moment for this, 
is equal to WL squared divided by 2 and the shear is equal to WL. For this part the bending moment is equal to P multiplied by L. Of course this is L and the shear is equal to P meaning that the so this is plus this plus so it becomes the bending moment for the cantilever part is equal to is equal to wl squared divided by 2 plus p multiplied by l always and shear is equal to wl plus p so just keep this in mind and if you want to need if you need to use the equations the chart you can do so and this is the other one so we we'll need the the bending moment here we need the bending moment here and we we'll need the axial load here so the axial load here is the is this part now let's do an example now based on the concepts that we have previously so we said we'll break this into a 10% of the span of each one of them as say so this is 10% so distance wise let's see how much are these distances equal to this will be of course 10 percent of 30 is 3 feet and 3 feet and the remainder is 24 feet now for the 28 part is 2.8 feet and this is 2.8 feet and in between is equal to 22.4 feet that's step number one so based on this we'll draw our simply supported beam and cantilever beam so the simply supported beam will be here and of course here and let's say the cantilever is here and is here Well, this one will be somewhere here, see? And here. So simply supported here, simply supported here, simply supported, simply supported. And of course the uniform load on top of it. So let's do the calculation now. For this we need the bending moment is equal to WL squared divided by 8 and W is 2 cube per foot so 2 multiplied and L will be 24 feet 24 feet square divided by 8 is equal to 144 cap foot the shear part is equal to WL divided by 2 W is 2 and L is equal to 24 divided by 2 is equal to 24 kips. So these are the values we got this one and this one. Okay. Now we'll do the cantilever part now. For the cantilever part, of course, we just want to note here this is P and this is P. These are the reactions. So this is equal to 24 kip and this is equal to 24 kip. This has to be carried on to this part. It is 24 kips and of course the uniform load continues here. So now I want to calculate the, the bending moment for this part. We know from the previous uh, bending moment is equal to WL squared divided by 2 plus P plus by L. So M is equal to W is equal to 2 and L is only this part L is not the 24 which is 3 feet so 3 feet 
squared divided by 2 plus P is this so 24 cubes multiplied by L again same as 3 feet so the bending moment here is equal to 81 cube foot now the shear is WL plus P so W is 2 and L is equal to 3 feet that is the first part and P is equal to 24 cubes so the answer for this is equal to 30 cubes so we will just highlight these values and you can you can put them here if you want to so uh, we have this part is is equal to 30 cubes and if you want to note this is equal to 144 cube this one and the bending moment here is same as this one which is 81 cubes so this of course the side goes same this is this side is also 30 cubes and same thing goes for this bending moment is 81 cubes let's do this side the second side here do this one also and this will have a reaction here which is same here a reaction here same here with the same equation so bending moment here is equal to the only difference here is is the spans are different so I'll begin two kips multiplied by the span is 22.4 so 22.4 squared divided by 8 is equal to 125 kip foot and the shear is equal to WL divided by 2 which is 2 multiplied by L is 22.4 divided by 2 and the answer is equal to 22.4 now for the cantilever part so if you want to this is 22.4 and this is 22.4 kips for the cantilever part we have the bending moment is equal to WL squared divided by 2 plus P multiplied by L so same so M is equal to W is same L is different it is 2.8 squared divided by 2 P is different 22.4 kip sorry multiplied by uh, 2.8 and the answer for this is 70.56 now for shear part is equal to WL plus P and W is 2 L is 2.8 that is the first part and P is equal to 22.4 and the shear is equal to 28 kips and let's highlight the answer here um, we can update the the sketch this is equal to 125 then this is equal to 70.56 and this is 70.56 and the axial load from the side is equal to 28 and the axial from this side also is equal to 28 cubes so now if we would like to design the the column here it will be the sum of these two loads 30 plus 28 and this column 
will be 30 the load for this column you desire for 28